All right, so let's go ahead and actually configure the tenant portal. Now I've already created an API key and a DPSK pool to be used. I'm going to log into CloudPath here and I'm going to click on Manage Access on the left and then Property Management. And this is where you can create uh, multiple properties. So I'm going to add a property here and we're going to give it a name. I can also provide an address and a description. And I've already, since I only have one pool available within CloudPath, uh, it's already selected here. If you have multiple pools available, you can press this drop down box and select the pool that you want to use for that property. And I'm going to enable guest DPSK. You have the ability to limit the amount of units that you're going to create within this property. Uh, but I'm going to leave that uh, unchecked, but enable guest DPSK, which allows guests to actually connect to my own personal network using a unique pre-shared key for them. So I don't have to give them my pre-shared key and uh, worry about when they do leave my property that I have to go ahead and rekey all my devices. So they'll have their own unique key that is meant for them, but able to stream to my devices. And when they leave the property, I will go ahead and uh, you know, rekey the guest DPSK and they won't be able to join uh, my network anymore. Let's go ahead and provide property management details. And if you want to provide phone numbers and emails, that is available here as well. Let's go ahead and save this property. Now I've saved this property and I can go ahead and edit the property. And I can go ahead now and start loading the property with units or tenants. So I can bulk upload uh, units. So that's available through um, an XLS file. I can also use the API to uh, uh, install or, or drive units into this property. But maybe I just want to add a, a individual unit. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And we can provide that, uh, that unit with the property number that's using. And, you know, this can be any type of description that you want. Uh, and we'll put uh, maybe a description, uh, description here. Now I'm not going to fill out the DPSK secret or even the guest DPSK secret. Clubhouse is just going to automatically generate that and email the end user with those, uh, with those secrets. And that's going to be driven by how you set up the DPSK pool. So if you said the DPSK pool is, you know, each DPSK that we automatically create is eight characters in numeric, then this user will actually be emailed a passphrase that is eight characters in numeric. And if the user doesn't like it, can log into the tenant portal and modify the tenant portals, uh, the DPSK within the tenant portal, however they like. Now, Selena here, we're going to go ahead and provide her with a VLAN. So this is unique to Selena and all the guests that are, are going to use it. And let's give Selena an email, uh, a name and an email address here. And we're going to save that. And once I do that, Selena is going to be automatically emailed a uh, URL with the tenant portal configuration or the tenant portal uh, link and her passphrases. So let's go ahead and have a look at what that looks like. So if I click on dashboard here, I can go to notifications and I can view her email and see that you know a Wi-Fi passphrase has been signed to her and that's the guest passphrase and also here's her link to the tenant portal. So I can go ahead and if you if you notice there's no username or password for that it's actually all hidden behind a token and at the very bottom of the screen you can actually see what that token is. So let's go ahead and click on that and log in to Selena's tenant portal. Once I click that link I'm automatically brought to the tenant portal page there's an access your portal button. There's also, if you want to view that token, the credentials are here, which is hidden behind this information bubble. And I can click on access their portal. And now I'm within Selena's uh, portal. And you can see that the passphrase that was emailed to her is available here, as well as her guest passphrase. 
If she wants to view the passphrase as a QR code, we actually bring the QR code up here and the, her passphrase and the WLAN is in the QR code. So when they do scan it with their devices, they'll get a message saying, would you like to join the network? And they click on join the network and the device is automatically provisioned and allowed on the network. There's nothing for them to install. It's just a simple QR code. And then if they want to modify their passphrase, they can click on that gear button and change that passphrase to whatever they want. Once they do that, keep in mind that all their devices are removed from the network and they'll have to reconnect using the new passphrase. And they could also do that on the guest Wi-Fi. So if they do want to change the guest Wi-Fi, they can click that gear button and say, provide a new passphrase as well. Once they do that, all the devices that we're using the guest Wi-Fi are automatically kicked off the network and they have to use the new passphrase to connect.